All right, so let's do a little room review here. Um, I'll start in the corner with my television. And I have a very small room, so let's see. All right, Titanic poster. Always been a big Titanic fan. Jaws. I think it's the best film ever made. It's not my favorite film, but I just think it's a, an absolutely perfect film. Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, my favorite of all the Harry Potters, maybe still, even over the last couple. Um, I love it to death. I love that poster. Um, my uh, front-facing surround sound speakers. Let me, let me go around here. Um, and it's 46-inch. That is a rack that I need to refill with DVDs. My Wii, my PlayStation I and Wii sensor bar, my HD box, my PlayStation 3, which is on right now, my 360, my middle speaker for my surround sound, which is not very even right now, my Dreamcast, my Nintendo 64, um, Toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, then my surround sound and my sub is underneath that giant ATAT -AT right there. Um, that's Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Collector's Edition, which nobody has, unopened and waiting to be played. Uh, behind there is an email I got from the guy who played... Ari, the kid who played Jason in the first Friday the 13th movie, when I emailed him once and I printed it out. A John Hurt autograph from uh, Watership Down, one of my favorite animated films, even though he is probably better known as playing Ollivander in Harry Potter and having the first alien explode out of his chest in the first film. And Scarlett Johansson and Jonathan Rhys Meyers uh, autograph from Matchpoint. Another film that I love, and another little um, Jaws 3D kind of poster that my brother bought me. Alright, so that is pretty much my little home theater front from the beginning. Moving up, we have the Kills on 3 Collector's Edition, which I've never played, but I got on clearance. Some of the movies that have yet to be upgraded to Blu-ray. A um, bunch of some of my favorite movies that don't have Blu-rays yet. And then my Blu-ray collection begins, and we start with, that's a few Blu-rays I just bought right there that haven't been filed, uh, all my Disney films, classic Disney, Pixar, start, and then they're in order, my Roseanne, which I've been watching for $5 a season, my Pocahontas soundtrack that just came in the mail, um, row two, row three, Row 4, and these are all Blu-rays, row 5, and then row 6, and it ends on all of the superhero movies. So, I have a very, very big Blu-ray collection, at least I think so. Um, down here, Wii games, GameCube games, Xbox games, PlayStation 1 games, Xbox Original games. 3DS games, Vita games, PS3 games, a bunch of CDs I still have, Dreamcast games, all my remotes. Down here, whoa, light flare, all my trade paperbacks for comics and some novels. Moving up, my TV show box sets that are on DVD still, stuff that I haven't been able to replace. Some Stephen King books I just bought, a bunch of books I want to read this year, my Harry Potters, back up to my Blu-rays, and then... I have an Ice Dragon <laughs> flying and the Lego Dino set, um, Wolverine's Chopper Showdown, and uh, Black Pearl. Then there is my door, and a pink sweatshirt that I bought for a party and didn't end up wearing. Um, some just miscellaneous action figures that I've had over the years, Matrix, Kick-Ass, uh, Harry Potter, Star Wars my Lego Hero Factory, my Star Wars Legos, my Harry Potter Legos, my Toy Story collection, and Ferris Quest, Alien Conquest, and Pirates of the Caribbean Legos, which this all this stuff might be hard to see, but that's a shelf right there. Got some Star Wars action figures on the wall. 
Futurama poster, Spongebob poster, um, all my 360 games, uh, my Shout Factory Nickelodeon DVDs, my Godzilla collection, every Godzilla film on DVD, and on here on the right you'll see some spin-off movies and stuff, my Godzilla action figures, I love Gigan, um, and any of the movies that have been released on Blu-ray so far. Uh, down here, empty shelf, uh, cars, Legos, doing something with that soon, some Lego City stuff, doing something with that. Star Trek. Some Star Trek figures. Star Trek Season 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray. All 11 movies on Blu-ray. Next Generation Complete Series. Complete Animated Series. Demo Disc on Blu-ray. I have some models back there and some action figures. Doctor Who Shelf. Doctor Who Seasons. Doctor Who Books. Doctor Who Role Playing Games. CD. Doctor Who Action Figures. This I just made tonight. It is my Lego Super Heroes DC stuff. I actually figured out how to get that to hang. Um, that's Batman. He just beat up the Joker and Two-Face. And you can't see Catwoman, but she's running to her motorcycle. There's her crystal in her hand. Um, classic horror films and stuff on DVD. A lot of stuff from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, some 70s stuff, but mostly, you know, stuff that's only on DVD. My horror busts, all my horror Blu-rays, my Jason mask, um, a couple other little figures, but all my horror Blu-rays, and then all my animated TV show box sets, some Thundercats, Adventure Time figures, but Simpsons, South Park, Samurai Jack, Ren and Stimpy, Adventure Time, Brack Show, Space Ghost, Beavis and Butthead, Spongebob, Full Metal Alchemist, Gundam Wing, it's all there, all the animated shows that I like. Then we move up to this shelf, and there's a Magneto poster, a couple of video game posters. Um, I've we'll get to that in a second. Uh, my giant Sin City Marv, my giant alien, my giant Sentinel with the Avengers fighting him. Um, Cyclops and Gambit fighting Magneto, Thor and Hulk battling. My Transformers shelf, my Marvel Mega Bloks shelf. So that's there. Casino Royale poster, uh, the Wrestler poster. Action figure wall, all my Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Marvel Universe stuff, um, all on card, all hanging there. And then my bed, which, this seems awfully zoomed in, but I'm going to take a step back here, and a very bright light, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my room. Um, my stuff I need to build. My dehumidifier, because they just did work on my room, and there's all this dust. And my closet, which is empty, uh, full of a bunch of junk that I need to throw away. And that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed my small living space. Um, I'm probably making everybody dizzy, so I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. And, yeah. So, now you know all the stuff I'm into. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. So, let's get to some reviews.